In this Illustrator tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to keep proportions when scaling. This is one of the most important things. It's one of the first things I would teach anyone in Illustrator. I saw it way too much back in the day uh, in design school where people would scale things, but they would skew them at the same time. So we're going to select this text over here. With the selection tool, the shortcut key is V. If I click and drag on the outside of this box down here, you'll notice it's skewing my text. All you have to do is hold one key to make sure you don't skew here in Illustrator, and that is the Shift key. As soon as you hold the Shift key, that completely changes things. Now, I'm scaling it without skewing it. And I can grab any corner while I hold the Shift key and make sure I don't skew this text. If I don't hold the Shift key, all of a sudden, things start to skew, right? So hold the Shift key to skew, now, or to scale, not skew. Uh, but with a shape over here and a stroke, you might be running into something where the stroke is scaling or not scaling. So let's take a look at what this is. So same thing here. If I just click and drag, it's going to skew my shape. But if I hold Shift, it's going to scale it up and down. Now you'll see as I scale this down, the stroke actually scales with it. There's an option here. If I have this shape selected and I come over to my Transform panel in my Properties panel and I click these three dots, right here, scale corners or scale strokes and effects, either one of these. If you have corner rounding on, that's what scale corners is. If you have strokes or effects, that's what this one is. So if we uncheck this, it will not scale the stroke with it. Now, that stroke is at 11.39 uh, points in size. That size will never change now. So as I scale this up, you see how it kind of looks like it gets smaller. And as I scale it down, the stroke looks like it swallows up the star now that is because that stroke never changes size so if you do want that stroke to scale proportionally with your shapes or whatever your elements are what you need to do is make sure you turn on scale strokes and effects and now that will scale up and down with the star so that's another way to make sure you're scaling those strokes proportionally and that is how you can scale proportionally here in illustrator just hold shift 